Hi there, Mouseketeers. Welcome to the Disneyland Beat, where our toes tap to a Disneyland drum. And we always whistle while we work. Well, we here at the Disneyland Beat are big advocates of staying as close as possible to Disneyland whenever you can. But sometimes, on high demand days, it can be hard to find availability, and it can be a very pricey proposition. Sometimes you just need to save some money to make the trip work. But that doesn't mean you shouldn't have flexible access to Disneyland from your hotel. Today, we're going to show you five budget hotels nearby to Disneyland with reasonable rates and as many included amenities as possible that often run up your bill. Most of these places include transportation to the park, free parking, and free breakfast. Let's go visit Disneyland in style, but on a budget. Come on into the parks with us. Like, subscribe, and stick around. Disneyland is your land. <laughs> Come seek an adventure at your pirates, eh? Make the jump to life, speed. The Days Inn is about a 15 to 20 minute walk north of Disneyland. It offers decent accommodations at a reasonable price. Depending on the demand of the day you book, you're likely to pay $75 to $125 for a room that can accommodate up to four people. And this place is going to offer the most for the cheapest price on this list. Parking is free for a single vehicle per room and we were stoked that we were able to park right next to our room on our visit. That was really convenient. The hotel was quiet and calm and the rooms were comfortable and about what's expected. There's a small pool and spa in the center of the courtyard that was nice and clean. The free breakfast was a grab and go bag with a couple of muffins, a juice box and fruit and a granola bar. It was absolutely perfect for Disneyland. We enjoyed our breakfast while waiting in line for the park to open each morning. It also didn't hurt that there was a shaky pizza right next door. The small shuttle is dedicated to the Days Inn and is included with your room price, which is pretty rare. It was available most of the times we wanted to go to the park, starting about 30 minutes prior to park opening and running until about 30 minutes after it closed. The shuttle ran hourly in the mornings and nights, but it only ran like once in the noon to 6 p.m. period. But that would be our only complaint. This place is a great budget choice for your Disneyland trip. Motel 6 has created a fairly uniform experience across its brand. It's not fancy, but it's usually reliable, affordable, and clean. And this motel does that very well. It's a very comfortable stay. Rooms usually cost just under $100 a night, but range up to $125 a night on the busiest days. Parking is free with your stay. Their rooms are bright, and they usually have laminated wood flooring, which isn't our favorite, and the beds are okay, but they're very clean. They're nice. There isn't too much else really to say about them. It's close enough to walk to Disneyland from the hotel. It's only about a 15 minute walk out past the Anaheim Garden Walk North entrance. But you don't have to. They do have a shuttle service, which does cost extra, but not much. It's part of the ART, or Anaheim Rapid Transit Bus Hotel Circle Line, which services three hotels, and the Motel 6 is the last on the line closest to Disneyland. So you won't have to wait for stops at other hotels. It's really important to note that if you're using the ART bus system, it does mean waiting at an Anaheim City bus stop as the art shuttles are open to the general public. There are actually four art bus lines that are dedicated to circling the park and some of its hotels every day, so be aware of that. This particular shuttle runs every 25 minutes or so in the mornings and evenings and every hour in the afternoons. Really, it's a pretty convenient schedule. It costs $6 for the entire day for an adult and only $3.50 for kids. Be aware though, the last shuttle running at the end of the night leaves Disneyland at 10.15 and the parks do stay open later than that. And we would not recommend to everybody to make this walk super late at night. Some may want to get a ride share or taxi. The Motel 6 does have a pool and a spa and outdoor, it's nice, but where they kind of fall down is on a free breakfast, or much of a breakfast really. Right now they only give you coffee and a granola bar, that's it. But still, it's a very affordable place to stay. The Travel Lodge is a motel north of the park, not too far from the Mickey and Friends parking lot. We found it surprisingly nice for a Travel Lodge brand place. For a decent price, usually $85 to $125 a night, the rooms seem to be a slight step up than most of the others. The design is mid-century modern with a real Disney flair. The rooms are a touch bigger and they seem a little bit quieter too. And the beds were super comfortable. The breakfast here is really good with lots of options to choose from and notably excellent coffee. You can get a to-go bag with pastries and fruit or sit down for some cereal, toast, or bagels. There is a decent pool and spa and for what it's worth, the TVs were big flat screens with nicer pictures than most. Self-parking is free. They don't have any size restrictions on vehicles, which is nice. We were not able to park as close to our room as some of the others on this list, but it wasn't a big deal. But the Travel Lodge does offer shuttle service to the parks and for the same price as the Motel 6, a bus comes by every 15 to 20 minutes, most of the day with only a couple stops between Disneyland and you. 
Like the rest of the art buses, though, they stop running around 10 p.m. But the Travel Lodge is only a five-minute walk from the nearby Mickey and Friends lot where you can go through security and catch a Disney tram right to the park. The Islander Inn and Suites is a small motel on Catella Avenue, also adjacent to the Toy Story parking lot. It's bright and clean, though the rooms are certainly dated. We did find the beds comfortable, though. Prices are quite reasonable, and it's often not difficult to find a room under $100. The motel surrounds a nice small pool and spa, and it has a few amenities we really liked. Parking is free for a single car, and you can check in at 2 p.m., which is early for much of this area's lodging options. Another highlight is their free continental breakfast. It's really solid with lots of fruit, pastries, and cereal options. There is an art bus stop directly in front of the hotel that's part of the Clementine Line, which circles around the east side of Disneyland. The Clementine Line is only $4 a day and runs about every 25 minutes or so. It does have seven stops, so if you're going to Disneyland, it's a direct run from the Islander Hotel, about a five-minute trip. But on the way back, you'll have to stop at several other hotels on your 20-minute ride. Like the rest, it stops running at 10 p.m. But also, as we mentioned, this hotel is adjacent to the Disneyland Toy Story parking lot, and it's just a five minute walk to use those Disneyland shuttles. This three star hotel likely has the nicest rooms and most amenities on this list and can be somewhat expensive. However, we included it because of the value it offers and we found that you can get some really good deals at this place if you plan ahead. Rooms can be pricey, but we had no problem getting deals online with rooms coming in around 135 to 145 a night during the middle of summer. When you consider that breakfast is included, parking is free, and there is a free shuttle owned by the hotel called the Disneyland Dream Machine, the price doesn't seem so bad. The shuttle runs every 30 minutes in the mornings and evenings and every hour during the afternoons, and it starts operation before the park opens and doesn't stop until after park close. That's awesome. This is also a large hotel that surrounds its own tropical campus. It has several buildings with sprawling gardens and water features in between. It has two nice restaurants, shops, and themed bars on property. And for the family, it also has a big game room and even a magic show at the hotel on some evenings. The rooms are huge. They boast that they are the largest in Anaheim, with most of them being 500 square feet or more. Many have private balconies, and the beds are really nice and extremely comfortable, reflecting the third star that this hotel has. And it's definitely got the largest and nicest pool and spa area on this list. The hotel is themed to a fantasy castle feel, and maybe more than any other on this list, brings some of the Disney magic in the parks back to the hotel. And its location just north of the park allows for a pretty good view of the Disneyland fireworks too. Again, this is really only on the budget list when you can get that special or that great deal for your stay. But even so, at a moderate price, it offers quite a few amenities. The direct website does have some specials, but the best deals are most certainly found on third-party booking sites. Well, that's our list for you, Mouseketeers. Five nearby Disneyland budget hotels that have shuttles, free parking, and most with breakfast, too. We hope you find this helpful when booking that next budget getaway to Disneyland. We appreciate your support and hope you subscribe to our channel if you're new. Thank you so much. See you real soon, Mouseketeers. See you real soon.